Namaste dear student today we discuss about the sulfonamides first one we discuss about the basic description of sulfonamide first sulfonamides is the first antibiotics those used pyrogenic bacterial infections pyrogenic that means those are varieties of condition that inducing the our body temperature this enzyme we can this pyrogenic bacterial infections in germany 1935 by scientist dogma he discovered the sulfonamides on the mice done experiment streptococcal infections it highly effective but produce bacteriostatic actions chemistry behind the sulfonamide all sulfonamides derivatives of sulfonylamide this is the most important things gpet like examination those are may become ask sulfonamide it is the derivatives of sulfonylamide is nothing but para amino benzene sulfonamide para amino benzene sulfonamide the general structure of sulfonamides here you can see this is the sulfonylamides or para amino benzene sulfonamide those containing the amine group nh2 and sulfonylamide as so2 nh2 group next is the classification according to therapeutic uses of sulfonamides first tropically applied sulfonamide is containing eye infections sulfacetamide for skin infection sulfa silver sulfadiazine and mefenide acid the sulfa sulfadiazine today it is also used for for the burning purpose gid infection succinyl sulfathiazole thiazine sulfathiazole and sulfa guanidine meningitis sulfadiazine and sulfa dimidine urinary tract infection and sulfoxazole and sulfa methyl pyrazine respiratory tract infection also use sulfafenazine and cotrimoxazole leprosy so dapsones is the most important drugs and solapsone drug used for bowel infection sulfasalazine and thiazine sulfathiazole malaria sulfadoxine and pyrimethamine and nocardiosis sulfadiazine and sulfisoxazole next is most important thing is the mechanism of action these bacteria required folic acid for the growth and development in this mechanism the para amino benzoic acid are converted into dihydrofolic acid in the presence of the dihydroteroid synthase enzyme this trihydrofolic acid is converted into tetrahydrofolic acid or nothing but folic acid in the presence of dihydrofolate reductase enzyme and this tetrahydrofolic acid as well as the folic acid convert into purine as well as the dna and these dna are responsible for synthesis of bacteria so this is the metabolic pathway in this metabolic pathway the sulfonamides are are binding with the dihydrofolic synthase enzyme by the substrate mechanism suppose ke sulfonamide ka competition pava ke sath hoga this is the para amino benzoic acid in dono ke sath aur isme se sulfonamide dihydrofolic synthase ke sath jaldi binding ho jayega due to this para amino benzoic acid cannot be converted into dihydrofolic acid 
this is the mechanism this cannot be converted the hydrofolic acid cannot be converted the hydrofolic acid cannot be converted purine pyrimidine cannot be converted and the dna cannot be used by bacteria the bacteria those are that become inhibit the growth this is the mechanism of sulfonamides therapeutic uses the urinary tract infection that may be used acute acute bacillary dysentery in the intestine infection those that that become used meningococcal infection that means outer layer of the brain those are also treated with sulfonamides firen uh, firenzeatitis inflammation of the thorax as well as throat red coloration you can see this is the inflammation happening in the thorax tonsillitis the tonsil inflammation here you can see this is the tonsil inflammation those are also required by using sulfonamide and conjunctivitis that means inflammation of eyes those are also responsible for the treatment of eyes infection by sulfonamides burning is the main treatment for main treatment by sulfonamide means silver sulfazel this is the burning patient this is also burning infection of lungs that may be required by sulfonamides sometimes combination of sulfonamide i use up for various type of serious infection sulfa methoxazol plus trimethoprim is called as the cotrimoxazol is the very well known example from combination of sulfonamide another very well known example this sulfadiazine plus pyrimethamine used in the treatment of malaria this is the combination those are also used for treatment of various complex type of the disease or infected material next is the side effect and adverse reaction allergic response skin rash itching and photosensitivity is the most important reaction for sulfonamide or sulfonamide hemolytic anemia or plastic anemia low wbc and platelet due to the sulfonamide gi disturbance like the anorexia nausea vomiting and diarrhea during higher dose this is also side effect of sulfonamides carnic terrace it is another most important side this type of uh, example or side effect asking do chipet like examination what thing in this precipitations in the newborn baby due to the displacement of the bilirubin from the plasma protein binding sites in this photograph you are known this is the newborn baby we are very well known the newborn need the newborn baby the excess amount of the bilirubin we have to find out inside the blood but when we are using the sulfonamide or or the baby's mother using sulfonamide those sulfonamide enter into blood circulation of the baby baby through baby through its feeding and these enter the blood this bilirubin moves from the blood stream into brain tissue and that increase the size of the brain tissue this condition we can say this is the carnic terrace hematuria that means the urine containing the blood this condition we can say this is the hematuria crystal urea another most important side effect of sulfonamide lead to renal irritations and obstruction in the urine flow this is the main side effect of sulfonamides how we can minimize by this side effect drinking more water making the urine alkaline by giving alkaline mixture using the combination of sulfonamide preparation whose acetylated product highly soluble example is the sulfafurazol we are using for the preventation of the crystal urea and next side effect is the most of this is steven johnson syndrome sgs shortly we can say severe exudation erythema associated with the widespread of the lesion of the skin and mucus this is the main side effect of sulfonamide this patient is suffering with the sulfonamide side effect is steven johnson syndrome
last we discussed shortly how to remember the sulfonamide so here basic if we remember basic characteristic so just you should remember the sulfur red color indicate this sulfur first word of the sulfur s solubility is low of sulfonamide next u useful for urinary tract infection that means urinary tract infection we use the sulfonamide l large spectrum that means used against the gram positive as well as the gram negative bacteria f Folic acid synthesis blocker, nothing but DHPS, dihydrofolate synthase enzyme inhibitor. Last one, A, anti-metabolite or analog of PABA. This thing you should remember, you are very well known about what is sulfonamide. Next is simply side effect, just you should remember by using the same word, this is sulfa. S, Steven Johnson syndrome. S, skin rashes. U utricaria. U once again urine precipitation or crystal urea. L leukopenia. Folic acid deficiency. Last one, a plastic anemia. So this is the short key for, or you should remember sulfonamide. So in the sulfonamide, some question those are asking into the GPA like competitive exam please be read show carefully thank you very much for watching pharma josh youtube channel if you like please share comment and like